You can turn an Apple Watch into an iPod Classic-like device using 3D printing, CircuitPython, and electronics from Adafruit. This project features the ANO rotary encoder wheel. It's got four directional buttons and a center button for scrolling and clicking. It's essentially a wireless USB controller that pairs with an Apple Watch over BLE. We wanted to make an open source and hackable version of the TinyPod project that we saw online. Powered by the Adafruit Feather ESP32-S3, it's got Wi-Fi, BLE, and onboard battery charging, perfect for making portable IoT and BLE projects. The ANO rotary encoder breakout connects over StemmaQT, making it easy to plug and play with the Adafruit Feather. With Apple's watchOS, you can enable the voiceover accessibility feature to allow pairing keyboard devices over BLE. This allows you to scroll through the elements on screen and select items using the directional buttons in the center click wheel. The code in this project utilizes the USB, HID, and rotary I.O. Seesaw libraries for CircuitPython. At the top of the code are key codes that can be customized. The default matches the key codes that work with watchOS and it uses the caps lock key as the modifier key. This could easily be customized to work with other gadgets like Android devices, tablets, or a computer with BLE connectivity. To get the full build tutorial, check out the guide at learn.adafruit.com. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The SnapFit enclosure is designed to be 3D printed in PLA without any support material. The Adafruit Feather is secured to the enclosure with machine screws, alongside with a slide switch and a LiPo battery. The ANO rotary encoder breakout sits over the dev board and gets secured to the built-in standoffs. The Apple Watch press fits into the upper cavity and gets held in place thanks to the snap fit cover. This case gives you access to the watch's crown and action button. We think this is a novel way to turn an Apple Watch into a handheld portable device. It works quite well with the music app and you can even control your HomeKit devices. We hope this inspires you to check out CircuitPython for your next DIY project.